quickly, but I do go down. So, still, I have 1,400 gold, almost 1,500. I'm curious to see what I'm planning on buying here. Uh, probably, at the very least, pick up Boots 1. Uh, checking out the other team, how many stuns and CCs do we have? Galio's got a taunt, Trindamir's got a slow. Uh, who's the last guy on the list that I just missed? Problem is, when I'm talking like this, I'm not thinking about what I'm saying. Zillion, zillion, zillion. So that's kind of another slow. Uh, so I did do this time to go with the Merc Treads. I guess they've got a, a handful of CCs, and they've also got a, a good handful of magic damage. So I may have been thinking the MR was a good idea. Uh, I do know that one of my uh, one of my favorite items to get looks like there there's a big fight going up top. And they do take out Twitch. Good. They're keeping him shut down, so we're not going to have to worry about him. Looks like Zillion is hunting down our Fiddlesticks, though, and Nidalee is going to go and help. Um, oh, yeah, I also really like to get the Boots of Mobility. A, I'm a big fan of that on all support characters. It ensures that, especially early on like this, where you're not sticking as a five-man group, you can still get to a fight quite easily. And I cannot engage that safely, but I think I was coming... Uh... Ooh, that's too bad. Maybe I should have come from a different angle. My, my logic was, if there was going to be an engagement, I could go in with my ultimate. And then it would be okay. And otherwise, I probably wasn't going to be coming in regardless of what angle I came from. So, I don't know. I tend to do that a lot. My, my idea is always, uh, you know, see if I can trap them, sandwich them in, cut off their escape, you know, if one of them gets low. But, I, to be honest, I think that most of the time it just means I'm horribly out of position. And uh, I can't be protected by my team. And yeah, I just did a good amount of damage to those mobs there. Nidalee's a little bit low. But she should be able to make her escape. A very good champion for doing that. She's got a lot of speed. And, and a self-heal, I suppose. And where am I going? I'm going back to the bottom. Gotta help defend there. Putting more points into my heal. Popping my speed up ability. And Vlad goes down to Zillion, that's too bad. Now, as I recall, with these matches, all night I was getting the Innervating Locket, because I thought, oh, this is great, you know? Ooh. A bit of an ultimate war, but I gotta back up there, that's for sure. She's actually got a Chalice of Harmony, so she'll have quite a bit more mana regen than I do. Um, and I don't know what the comp comparative magic resistance between the Merc Treads and the Chalice of Harmony are. Do have a little more AP, probably, unless she is um, actually ruined for, for that. Uh, what was I saying before this? It felt like it was very important, and now I've completely forgotten. Oh my god. Wow, so bad. Oh my god. I hate myself. Shit, shit. And I know everyone in the comments is going to be typing about, like, what I forgot. And that's not really going to help me, because I'm recording this at least a day ahead of whenever you're going to see it. Crap! Oh, item! Intervening Locket! Yes! Naha! I'm brilliant. Yeah, so I thought, okay, she spans her spells all the time. Intervening Locket's going to be great, because it's going to AoE heal and give mana to all of my allies. I mean, how awesome is that going to be? And so I spent all night getting this item for that. And only to discover later on that, oh, in this patch they also changed Innervating Locket, or, or Innervating Locket has been changed. I think it was the, from the same patch, but I'm not sure now. And uh, it no longer has the AoE heal component and stuff. So my whole plan with it was shot. And then I felt stupid, and then I, I, I started playing without it. But since then I've seen a lot more Sonos who do play with the Innervating Locket. And I was like, oh, those people are silly. And then I, I, I started thinking about it and realized... Okay, so it doesn't do the AoE heals, but it's still a really good item on Sona, and it does make her extraordinarily durable. I gotta be careful here, my health is a bit low. So, I mean, don't watch these videos for a build, and I certainly don't have a build that I can tell you for Sona, um, because I, I haven't played her that much, and I think there's still a considerable different ways to play her. If you guys have a build for her, as always, please leave a message in the comments. Uh, because other people want to know. I'll want to know. I do read every single message that's ever posted on my videos or left as a comment on my profile. Uh, I know I don't reply to that many of them. I do try to reply to a handful. Um, big fight here. I don't know. Oh, we get Zillion. That's nice. Um, yeah, so I don't always reply to them, but I always, always read them. Um, 
Wow, sh Sona gets torn apart. I'm a little low, got tower aggroed. But looks like we're going to be okay. I'm not sure we're going to be able to kill Trindamir here. Got lots of mana, but not much in the way of health. I keep spamming my W, I think. Yeah. Oh, Galio shows up. Ooh, he's probably going to taunt. Yes, and... Oh, did he get feared at the same time as the taunt? Because he broke out of that instantaneously. I think that was the only thing that saved me. Oh my god. Well, thank you, Lord Noob, who's playing as Fiddlesticks. Oh, Twitch! Hey, he's going to go down. And Vladimir's in trouble here. Not as much since he can uh, do his blood pool to get away, but... Yeah, here I go, Innervating Locket. I mean, all the items that go into it are certainly solid items. More mana regen, more mana, more health. Sure, nothing wrong there. Still a solid, solid item. I'm going to look it up. I don't remember exactly what it gives. Because it's not an item that I typically get on uh, on any of my champions, actually. Um, because it's kind of a funny, the way, funny item the way it works. Um, you know, with the whole triggers on spell cast. I have gone on Alistair before. It used to be a fine choice there as support. I've seen it on Udyr. Um, and really, that's that's pretty much all that I can remember seeing it on. So yeah, um, so it gives you health and mana, but that's just because of the base items. Uh, unique aura, nearby allies get 20 hit points and 9 mana, all per 5 seconds. So it does have an AoE heal and mana regen component. It just is independent of your spell casting. Reduces your cooldowns by 10%, always nice. And then the the passive is, when you cast a spell, you regenerate 50 health and 20 mana over 2 seconds. It has a 3 second cooldown and no longer affects allies. So every 3 seconds, assuming you're spamming pretty much non-stop, and Sona's definitely capable of doing that, you're going to regenerate, you're going to get 50 health, 20 mana. Uh, that's really, really solid. Um, you know, if you were only casting a spell every uh, three seconds, then it would mean your spells were all 20 mana cheaper. And they're already pretty cheap on Sona. Of course, the Sona, you can, you can spam them as often as one every second and a half or so when you take all the cooldowns into, uh, into account. But, uh, no, it's still a solid item on her, and it does keep her health up remarkably well. And it means you're going to fully regenerate between fights extremely easily. So, it's still, still something to consider. Oh, the, in chat they asked me if this game is going to be one of my new videos. Yes, it is! Only you, you had to wait over a month to see it. Oh, you get a flash followed by an ultimate on Galio. Luckily, I was just out of range. And I throw, oh, I throw my ultimate there to try to help Vlad get away, but he must have been uh, ignited, and he burns to death. Now the minions are fighting over his co his corpse. He's just a big pool of blood now. <laughs> no, oh dear. Oh, Fiddlesticks comes in with an ultimate. He does get stunned by their Sona. And they've got at least one person who's really low, but wow. Okay. Nidalee goes in there, four on one. Not necessarily the best, most advised move, but... Okay, so the game is pretty even. 12 to 10. My score's a little unimpressive. 0 one, 4 but I am playing a support character. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm still a, I'm still a giant noob in general, and I'm certainly a noob with Sona, but... It's not too bad at this mark. Things are really going to change once we get into the group fighting phase, and we've definitely gotten there. So Vlad is pulling move. He's flagged there, Sona. I'm just pushing bottom. Because, hey, why would I want to help my team out, right? Well, there's a couple of things. First of all, I don't have the uh, boots of mobility. If I did, I can guarantee you that I would be over there to help at this point. Um, but also, their bottom here is undefended. Now, I've got to be careful because everyone's got an MIA. Okay, no Galio is in the middle. But I thought, okay, I can get a good push on here. Because the thing is... Sona's not just a sport, she can push extremely well because of her Q ability, hitting two things at once. Wow, he's really low, but... Oh, if I had my ultimate, I would have tried to finish him off for sure. So yeah, she can really push a wave pretty damn quickly. 
And her auto attack does a surprising amount of damage. You can see I put down a, a defensive clairvoyance there, just to double check to make sure that uh, Trind is not going to be getting any help. But uh, without any help, he's not going to be able to do much. Even with his ultimate, his health is so low. He's going to have to use the ultimate instantaneously, and it just doesn't last that long. Coming to help out, how about the coming to help out here? God, he couldn't get that out. Not really to help kill the dragon, but oh, nearly, damn. Fiddles ults in there to get Trindamir, but he does ultimate and run away. Yeah, I was just saying, I was going there because whenever you're fighting the dragon and the, other, the enemy team's MI, there's always a good chance that they're going to come here and try to get a gank off on you. And I wanted to be nearby in case something like that happened. Plus, I no longer felt safe by the tower. So, Galio.